and <laughs> we're recording again. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Fenton. <laughs> How you doing, man? Um, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Uh, a little more sleep. I got a, a, at least an extra, you know, 30, 35 minutes of sleep last night. So doing good. Every Baby's minute up. counts <laughs> when you got a baby. I'm going on fumes right now. It's great. Love it. <laughs> you know, it's so interesting you used to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really quick. Let me do this. Welcome, everyone, to Products of Circumstance. It's a podcast with Ken Skeen and myself, Fenton Joseph. We discuss mental health and mindset matters through the lens of black men. Clearly, we are black. <laughs> we cover topics like family and relationship trauma, relationships with money, self-worth, positive thinking, gratefulness, and so much more. The show is unscripted, unfiltered, and mostly unedited. We choose our topics randomly. And we're going to get to that in just a second. But first, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And please, most importantly, share, wherever that bell is, share with somebody who's on their personal development journey and you feel could benefit from this. So usually Ken tells us what we're going to talk about today, but Ken is so tired. <laughs> his brain is not functioning the way it normally would. So he's got nothing. He's blank. I am no, I'm, I'm blank today. I'm, I'm not prepared. I showed up, I showed up. He showed up <laughs> and you know what? Got to take care of the rest. And that's why I said it's so funny you should say that, because we should talk about being tired. <laughs> nobody wants to talk about being tired because nobody wants to sound like they're complaining. <clears throat> oh, I'm so tired. Meanwhile, we're all running around like zombies on like four hours of sleep and somehow are expected to, uh, you know, uh, perform at optimal peak levels in everything that we do on the job at home, uh, on podcasts, uh, it's it's ten thirty eight. I'm just gonna kick off. It's Eastern time, Eastern Standard <laughs> Time. I feel like I'm a little delayed here. Am I delayed? <laughs> um, I don't know. I see your lips moving, but it's not matching up with the with the sound. But it's all good. Okay. Well, it's too late to change now. This ship is on its way, so we'll just have to figure it out. Um, what happens is we wake up in the morning. We have a million things to do. And then you and I get on here around 10 a.m. and we start our day yeah. recording. I texted you and I was like, first of all, are you even available? <laughs> 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 this is at like 945. And you're like, yeah, no, I'm home. I'll, I'll be here. I'm like, OK, great. 1015, please, because I'm not home. I was still getting my family. Uh, I was dropping my wife off at the train station. We all got up late this morning and we're just, you know, late and tired and right. then we get on here and we talk for a bit about how tired we are <laughs> you don't have anything to talk about and i can just imagine ken that there are other people listening to this right now saying yeah i'm tired too i'm at work i'm listening to this thing um i can't keep my eyes open the, <laughs> the the lights in this office don't really help <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> that art artificial sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that artificial sunlight that makes you even more sleepy. I used to work in an office where they did this weird thing where they had um, lights that shined up. So the light would usually shine down, right? But their lights shined up. So you couldn't see the light. It was just like afterglow kind of thing bouncing off of the ceiling. Okay. And the reason why I bring that up is because it was always a little dark in there. And oh, by the way, I was a zero operator. I was a, uh, I used to be a, a zero operator for Bell Atlantic. I don't know if you kids remember this, but there was a time when before cell phones, when you would pick up the phone, it was like an actual phone that you put to your ear like this. And you had, and let me take it back to the rotary. You had a rotary dial. Okay. I want you to uh, Google this, pause the video, open another browser window, Google rotary phone. <laughs> And you'll see a little circle with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you used to turn it like this, and it would it would slowly go back to whatever number you put your finger in. It's a whole thing. Watch it on YouTube. So anyway, I was a zero operator. So if you hit zero, you would get a person on the end of that line. Kids, I want you to try this with your cell phones and tell me in, if it works. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know <laughs> if you get a person when you dial zero. I don't think you do. Anyway. You don't think so? 
I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> let's, give, let's, let's give it a shot. All right, zero. I wouldn't. I wouldn't if you do. Dial. Oh. <laughs> Four on one. Hang up and dial star 611. For all wow. the of a call, hang up and dial 1-800-COLLECT. Announcement 15. If this is an emergency... This is the all first right, so time I've ever tried that. So here's the thing now. There used to be someone on the other end of the line that would actually direct you to one of those lines. Now they said, okay, a computer can do that job. Right, right, right. It, it was me. I was that person. It was like, hello, <laughs> operator. And I'd be sitting back... You know, with a book, you know, waiting for the calls to come in. I'm like, hello, hello, operator. How can I help you? And um, my joke, which I don't know if it's a funny joke, is that I don't know how many people like we're serious. I don't know the statute of limitations on this stuff. Is, but like, <laughs> okay, so I was a zero operator, and we had overflow nine one one calls. <clears throat> So 911 is busy. The, fl- the calls would overflow into the zero operator area. So you call 911, it's busy, you get an operator. It's the operator, how can I help you? And they're like, oh my gosh, my cat's in a tree. I need help. And you're like, okay, where are you calling from? Now, you were taking, I'm looking for like a really thick book. You were taking uh, 911 overflow calls as a trainee. So you had these really thick books. There's no directories that you like look up digitally. It's like typing the person's phone number that they're calling from. And you know exactly where they are. Like, no, they were like, you were like, where are you? <laughs> and where is your cat? What block are you on? And you have to look it up in this big book. And I can't tell you how many times I got a 911 overflow call. And the book, was like, I couldn't find, you know, how to connect the people. Wow. Am I going to get in trouble for this? Um, <laughs> somebody's cat. Someone's cat. Mr. Sniffles didn't make it. Still up in that tree. (laughs) Mr. Tittles. (laughs) So were you tired of that job? (laughs) Yes. Not only was I tired on the job and falling asleep on the job, I was tired of the job. No, but like in all in all seriousness, I would wake up in the morning, I would walk, you know, a (laughs) mile how old am I? I would walk a mile to the bus stop. And go from Westbury to Hempstead and then walk from Hempstead. Now I went from Westbury to Garden City on the bus. And mm-hmm. then I took the bus from Garden City from Roosevelt Field Mall to Hempstead. Okay. And then I walked from Hempstead by like Terrace in Hempstead, which is, you know, not a great place. I mean, I don't know what it's like today, but it wasn't a good place back then. And then walked to the Verizon building or the Bell Atlantic building. I'll never forget. This is so unrelated. I'll never forget because the Bell Atlantic color was red. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'll never forget. They wanted, they wanted us to wear our shirts. Was it red or blue? I think it was red. They wanted us to wear our shirts for a strike. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm like 19. Okay. A 19 year old black kid walking through Hempstead with a red shirt on. I said, by yeah, terrace. yeah, my terrace. terrace. I was like, I will not be wearing my shirt to join you little strike. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going right to the office. I'm going to sit down in my chair in my regular clothes and or I'm just not going to show up. But I ain't. No, I'm not doing it. All right. For, for some of the audience that doesn't understand, Tell them. those are gang related colors in Hempstead on Terrace Ave. All right. So if you're not understanding why Fenton didn't want to wear red. It's a gang-related color that he did not want to wear because he wasn't did not want to bro. end up unalive. Wasn't, wasn't <laughs> happening, bro. So anyway, I I never I'll never forget how tired I used to be on that job. Um, and you know, it's it's one of those things. Let's bring it back to entrepreneurship. That's a funny story, but let's bring it back to modern day, 2022. Um, we both have kids. We're both married. We both have multiple things going on in terms of businesses that mm-hmm. we're in. I know you don't sleep. I know I don't sleep. But how are we supposed to, what do we do? 
somebody's listening right now and they're like, yo, I, that's me. What practical advice can we give them to get more sleep? Um, or, you know, or, or maybe, maybe start to attack the issue of like, why aren't you getting the sleep that you need to be getting? And how do you, how do you go about solving that? Well, I mean, look, I used to go to bed at midnight, one o'clock in the morning. I had to stop that. The reason for me not getting the sleep that I, that my body kind of needs is because we have a newborn. Mm. And if anyone listened to uh, the last episode that was released on Monday, I, you know, I put it out there. We have a new baby in the house. He just turned two weeks old. That's why I'm not getting a lot of sleep right now. Um, started a new uh, position in sales. I'm now a finance manager. Um, so love. thank you. Thank you. So, you know, uh, getting out of my comfort zone, you know, we have an episode on that as well. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping way out of my comfort zone in the same industry, but just learning something new so I can progress further in, uh, in the industry. But um, so I have that going on. Then we have this podcast uh, we do once a week. We also, my wife and I have the side business. We have a woodworking company. We uh, make reclaimed wood furniture, pieces for your home and office. And then on top of that, I have, or we have four children, now four, a dog, and things need to get done. Laundry, dishes, garbage, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Yes, I yada. Yes, I yada, yada, yada. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, get food on the table, making sure that everything's clean. I'm definitely helping more around the house right now than usual. Um, it's a lot. And your body's tired. Yeah. You Forget body for a sec. Your brain hurts. That's the thing. And you know what I'm saying? And like like Fenton was saying before, you walk around we walk around here like zombies and we figure out a way to get it done, but you gotta remember to take care of yourself and um and I guess just put time to get your rest. Just turn off your brain for a sec. Don't sit sit in your bed at eleven o'clock at night with the phone in hand, scrolling through the internet. Really just turn your brain off. Yeah. Try to get some sleep. Try to get some rest because they say screen time is a big, um, big problem when it comes to you finally getting into sleep and getting into REM because mm. you're not shutting your brain off. Mm. You got to just stop thinking. How crazy is that? You have to pretend to sleep so that your body falls asleep. <laughs> when you think about it, right? Yeah. When you fall asleep, when you're tired. You close your eyes, right? And then yeah. you have to literally try to turn off everything. Yeah. And if you don't, people will wake up tired because if you don't turn your brain off to what's happened in the day, I'm not saying it's easy. Everyone has different things going on in their life, right? When it comes to work or family, just personal issues going on, um, especially like people going through like a, any kind of depression, things like that. Mm. Um, you're not turning your brain off at night, which means you're not actually sleeping at night. You may be asleep, but your brain's not sleeping. So you wake up even more tired mm. and you're walking around the world like a zombie. So you've got to try to turn off maybe some meditation, maybe writing down in a journal before you go to bed just to get some things off your mind. Um, five minutes of silence. Meditation doesn't mean you have to sit there for hours on end. It can be five or no. 10 minutes of just silence. <laughs> but, am i done yet <laughs> <laughs> come on but if, but if you don't if you don't practice yes practice turning your mind off or turning your brain off or turning the thoughts off that are running through your head you're not going to sleep well let's, all right let's, let's let's explore that for a second because one of the all right like for instance i am i have ebbs and flows <clears throat> depending on my workload Sometimes I have projects that, you know, things need to get done and I'll stay up late working. And then other times, you know, the, the month is a little bit lighter and I can get to bed. Um, part of that for me is just willpower to actually go to bed. Because the reality is no one's waiting up with me for me to send them some stuff in email, right? And I say this to my wife a lot. I'm like, just go to bed. It's 11 o'clock at night. No one is waiting for you to send them an email at 11 o'clock at night. It's you, me, Fenton, saying, I got to stay up and I got to get this done because if I go to bed, it's not going to get done. Blah, blah, blah. Like the day's over, dude. Like, no, we don't work nine to five anymore, but we still do have like, you know, regular work days. Like, 
people are not going to be up at one in the morning like, oh, well, Benton didn't send that email. I guess I'll tuck it in now <laughs> at 2 a.m. <laughs> like, nah, dog, just go to sleep. You know, it's better for you to get rest so that you can be fresh. There's a difference between the energy level that you have when you get good sleep and when you don't. Mm-hmm. Your, like you said, your brain, that's another thing that you said that I want to talk about is your brain functioning. Sometimes your body can be up, but your brain is already shut down for the night. So you're sitting there pretending that you're going to get work done. You're not because your brain isn't going to allow you to do it. You got to think, you know, that happens to me a lot. I'm like, oh, no, I got to stay up to work on this website because if I don't tomorrow and it's like, dude, if you stay up, the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to wake up tomorrow late or I, I'll get up early, right? Because I got to get my kid to school and I got to take my wife to the train station. So I'll be up, but I won't be functioning. <laughs> and you know, and you know, mm, do what I. <laughs> you, like you could do the bare minimum. I'm telling you when I, when I make the will, when I have the willpower and I make the decision and I say, you know what, dude, it's 10 o'clock. It's done. No one's waiting for you. Just go to bed. I'll take a shower. I'll go in the bed. And when I wake up early, mm-hmm. because I went to bed early, that's another thing. When you go to bed early, you wake up early. Mm-hmm. So I'll get up at six ahead of everybody. And now what? Now I have time to do some stuff for me, to have those five minutes to meditate, to read a book, to pray, to do the things for myself, make my coffee, take my time getting dressed instead of rushing, right? Because when you're rushing, after you woke up late and you're tired, you're you're frustrated. I, my wife and I had a conversation, we'll call it a conversation, about, you know, being late, going places. Cause it's like, dude, mm-hmm. get up in the morning and let's do what we gotta do. And we're pointing the finger at each other. Well, you know, like you're not getting up and you're not getting up. It's like, stop it. We both aren't getting up because we both stay up late. And when we should be going to bed and we're both tired and our brains aren't working and we get frustrated very easily and we get in each other's way, it would be, and, and we, we had a conversation about it. And I said, you know what? I'm putting it on me. I'm going to get up early. I'm sorry. I'm going to go to bed early. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get up early before everybody else. And I'm going to make sure that my household is ready to go on time. I'm taking that upon myself to do it. And we did that the first week and it was a beautiful thing, bro. I went to bed. I got up early. I felt amazing. I had some time for myself. No one's in the bathroom, you know, not fighting for bathroom space, (laughs) bathroom time. I was fully dressed. I got my family up. I made them breakfast. Like this was like, it was like out of a movie. (laughs) You know, flipping eggs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the best part of waking up. <laughs> because I had the willpower. I willed it. I was intentional about it. Um, part that's that's probably something that people just need to get into the habit of is just, you know, willing that stuff into existence. If you don't choose to do better, you're not. But the benefits are immense. I'm no sleep expert. There's books on it. Go read a book. But <laughs> there's a lot of benefits to, to, um, you know, getting good, good night's rest. You just, you have more energy throughout the day and that allows you to have a positive attitude. I, I'm, I'm big on attitude determines altitude when it comes to your day. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest, y'all. It's really hard for me to have a really great attitude when I'm super tired. I do it because I, I'm, I'm, I'm energetic and I'm very positive, but even for me, it's a lot easier for me to start out super high when I wake up fresh. Yeah. And then that's just willpower. Just go to bed early. You know, nothing's going to get done. It's, it's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. And if you're, pro- <laughs> if you, if you feel like your productivity <clears throat> is through the roof when you're tired and sleepy at night, um, I guess more power to you, but I would be willing to bet that most people, they're, productivity at night after like 10 o'clock at night is actually really, really, really low. Mm -hmm. And I would just challenge everyone to use the screen time app on your phone and let it measure it for you and see how much time you're spending and then compare that to your actual productivity. 
and see what you're spending your time on. It's probably Instagram. It's probably Facebook. It's probably Pinterest. It's probably scrolling mindlessly when your laptop is open in front of you or that book is there in front of you but your, or your pen's down. It's, it's, you're probably spending more time on TV or the, or the phone. Wow. Look at that. I'm just saying. I think, Pia, do you know what? Anyone listening in? Try it out. You, you probably surprise yourself. The amount of times you pick up that phone or laptop or that remote control. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe there's no surprise at all. You no. So, you know, some people really don't think. Like, I had to, uh, you know, <clears throat> kind of put myself in check a few months back. Like, I'm, I'm really, I was really putting too much time into, like, social media. And not for, like, the work part of it. Not to post something for the, uh, for myself or post something for the brand. Uh, it's research, honey. Research. <laughs> Looking at Porsches again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely try to get, get some more rest. You don't have to walk around here like a zombie every day. Let your brain scrub out everything at night like it's supposed to. It's uh, good for healing. It's good for your body. It's good for your, your health, not just mental health, actually physical health. Really, really get to sleep and don't this <laughs> nothing cool about <laughs> three hours of sleep. <laughs> nothing cool about it because I still got to get up, still have responsibilities. Yeah, got to you know, got to put my pants on, put my shirt on, get to help with the kids and help with the house, get to work. Things still need to be done. So come on, get up, yeah. get out. If you had to choose, right? Like people, yeah. if you had to choose between doing everything that you have to do throughout the day and night, tired or fresh? Like, why would you choose tired? And again, Ken's got a newborn. It's a different thing. But like some people make a choice and they say, I choose to be tired all day long. Well, you know what? Stuff still has to get done. You know, it's like it's like you wouldn't you wouldn't go to the gym after not sleeping. Uh, you know, we only slept for four hours, but you're gonna go to the gym in the morning. Like you might hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to be fresh. You got to be on it. You can hurt yourself. I mean, that's common sense. But people don't think about how much damage they might do to their jobs by underperforming, not getting enough rest. That's your livelihood. You're actually impacting your livelihood because you're showing up every day tired, not, you know, in peak performance mode. And you suck. You suck at your job because you don't get enough sleep. And you're acting like you don't, but your boss sees it and your coworkers see it. And one day you'll be out of there and you'll be on the unemployment line. And then you wonder why. And then you'll be scrolling on Instagram <laughs> instead of looking for another job. Um, your kids. We got kids. Have you ever been in a situation where you're home watching your kids and you fall asleep and you wake up to a crash <laughs> or, or something you're like, huh, huh, oh my God, uh, what? It, it's happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm sitting there on the couch just watching my daughter and I'll just doze off. And, you know, so, so drop a toy or something and then wake you up. Oh, man, like, yo, I was I was fading for a minute. I was dozing off. That's not good. You need to be a, you need to be awake. You got responsibilities. Um, <laughs> Speaking of, I got to put another load in the washing machine. The load in the washing machine. <laughs> and you hear the, the buzzer from the laundry wake you up. And what is that? <laughs> um, and, and the last thing I'll say is this. In the aggregate. Like over time, that tiredness, it adds up and it, it can, you, you never really get ahead of it until you get sleep. It's one of those things where you're like, you can't chip away at it. You just have to stop mm -hmm. and let your body rest. You know, you do three days of four hours of sleep, like day number four, you, you, like, you might just crash and mm -hmm. it might be the day that you really needed to, you know, perform. Um, and the only way to, you know, stop that cycle is to just go to bed early and sleep it off. And it may take two days, yeah. you know, for you to catch up on some good sleep. Sometimes one day of sleep isn't enough. You know, you, you, you finally go to bed at 11 instead of two or three. And then you're like, oh, well, I went to bed at 11. I woke up at seven. It's eight hours. I'm still tired. Like your body needs to still catch it. Do that two more nights. 
you know? So there's no shortcuts like everything else in life, you know? I mean, if you walk through the park and there's a trail, you can take a shortcut. So, I mean, we found the one ex- exception. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it say success? The, short, the only place um, success comes before work is in the dictionary. Right? And it's like, it's like that with anything in life. You got to, you got to put in the time and sometimes time is time sleeping and, but it's worth it. All right. Yeah. We're not going to beat a dead horse. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I think I still got to go walk the dog and have oh, like so f- four, more, four more loads. Eh. Anyway. If I take sure. a nap, my kid's going to be standing outside in the cold <laughs> after lunchtime when I pick her up. Hey, nothing wrong with a 15 to 20 minute nap, man. It does, it does wonders. Yes. Sir, always a pleasure. Um, <laughs> you can, you, uh, what is it? Follow, subscribe. Like, subscribe, <laughs> comment, and share with somebody who's on their personal development journey. And, and go get some sleep, y'all. Get All some right. sleep. We'll, we'll, we'll see you soon. Deuces. <laughs>